Athletics now, the under-20 boys 100 meters featuring Calabar's Michael Stevens and Mikolai Everett of Jamaica College, that's how he says his name is pronounced, was expected that battle to highlight the 2019 Digital Grand Prix Finals at GC Foster College on Saturday. But it was a man running in the 800 meters, 17-year-old Tyrese Taylor from Enid Bennett High, formerly Bogwalk Comprehensive, who stole the show. Taylor won the under-20 boys 800 in a stunning 1 minute 48.85 seconds. That was the fastest time by a Jamaican schoolboy since Sherwin Burgess set the boys and girls champs record of 1 minute 48.84 seconds in 1987. The pre-race favorite Kimar Farkerson of Calabar stopped running with approximately 200 meters to go. Here's how that race unfolded. Yeah, Ricardo, Taylor, Ricardo, I almost said Ricardo Taylor, Ricardo <laughs> Chambers there, unable to contain himself. You heard Ricardo draw a gear when they turned for home. Ah, oh, here comes the yeah. Tyrese's. <laughs> Very nice, Ricardo. Yeah. But he, as he said, not since 1987 has a Jamaican schoolboy run this, well, he came within one one hundredth of second. what was set by Sherwin Burgess in 1987. Gentlemen, this is phenomenal. All a standing record. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. That was a great run. I, actually, I thought when he lost the lead at the 100 that meter mark, that that would have been it. It was great to see him after 60 meters fight back in that manner. And finally, you could see the arms pumping. As you said, the legs weren't there as, as strong, but the arms certainly carried him through. Turn on his extra Turn engine. Turn on the thrills. <laughs> <On> the extra <laughs> so engine. here he is, he's, he's second now, right. but he fights back. Yeah. The Spot Valley man yeah. coming under pressure. He feels the beer on yeah, his back, as they yeah, say, yeah, in track and the field. starting to wind and lose Oh, it, yeah. there we go. He gave it 100%, though. Look yeah. at it, it fell over. Yeah. Oh, he had nothing left. Yeah. Fantastic a great battle, there. Great battle. Forget the meat record, which was smashed to smithereens. It's the fact that this boy comes within one one hundredth of Sherwin Burgess's record, which means What's it with Tyrese, isn't it? Uh, yes, Tyrese, Tyrese Taylor. Taylor. Tyrese. So between no and champs, Chris, are you saying that the record is going at champs? Do you think so? Given that they'll have rounds to run and qualifying for the final is gonna take some gas. This was a one-off race on Saturday. It was a one-off race. Yeah. Um, I think he was surprised himself that he got at that time. I wouldn't think it's impossible. Mm -hmm. Unlikely, considering mm -hmm. the roads. Yeah, Wait, there's considering two roads. Right? Two roads. Just two. It's two roads. No, but, but uh, consider yeah. as well, Wayne. Yeah. That was that easier. was in the evening at GC Foster. Cool conditions, very nice conditions. He'll have to qualify in the sun, and he's doubling. So he's not only running the 800 meters; okay. he's doing 15 okay. as well. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. unlikely. As there's as a reason said, why that record has been there. So yeah, there is a reason. All right, there was another shock in the boys under 20 100 meters final. Michael Stevens was looking to avenge his defeat to Mikolai Everett at the corporate area championships, and make good on his promise to separate men from boys. But both those flyers were humbled by a youngster from St. Elizabeth Technical. Let's go. Sent off. Mikolai Everett gets up well. So does Michael Stevens. Stevens with the lead ahead of Mikolai Everett. Everett along with Dion Dashino. Chanel Dyer in dashing form, beating Everett and Stevens, and Stets bested them, gentlemen. Time was kind of slow still. <laughs> 10 42. I'll be slow. You say they're getting to get into the chance more. What is wrong so with this man? 10 42. 10 42 Have seven. you run 12 42 in your life? 400 15, meters? 42. Watch it, watch it. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that. Not even 15 42. I remember Ballerie, Ballerie before I went to KC in 1973, 74, I ran 10 4, and that was a big thing. These guys are running 10 1 now, but nevertheless, 10, even though the time was slow, 
10 is slow enough. At under 20, so man. Them yeah. guys were in 10 yeah, one yeah, now. He, he's correct. Yeah. He's correct. Yeah. Right. Right. But, but, but the race was an exciting race. I'm watching the time. I'm watching the fact the race two favourites yes. were beaten. Yes, yeah. and big race. I mean, the excitement of the race as well. Fantastic. You don't come out and say these things about separated men for the boys. You need to back that up. Don't underestimate any other field. That's a lesson. Says the case. Youthful exuberance, we're calling. What about the ladies? Let's move on. What about the ladies? Kivona Davis of Edith Allen was among the star performers on the girls' side. She won the under-20 girls 200 meters in the Digicel Grand Prix record, and that was one of seven broken on the track. Ashanti Moore of Heidel ran a great race for second, finishing in 23.10. Meanwhile, dun -dun -dun -dun, Kingston College dun -dun 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 -dun. and Heidel secured the respective team titles, be quiet, and the <laughs> $1 million <laughs> cash prize. So the top five boys' schools, KC out front, 142.5, Calabar second, JC third, St. Diego fourth, and Excelsior fifth. So KC the throne in Calabar there among the boys. Among the girls, a new champion, Edwin Allen, they've won every edition of the Digital Grand Prix to date, but Heidel stepped up and ended their win streak. Heidel beat Edwin Allen, Homewood third, St. Diego, and Spalding coming up in the top five with 33 points, an indicator perhaps of how boys and girls championships will go. And uh, let me ask one question. You went to, how many high schools you went to? Five? About that. <laughs> uh, you went to Arden, you went to Campion. Yeah. Where else? Hillel. Hillel, yeah. all right. So you really don't have a dog in the fight. Yeah. You're like me. Ask the KC man, <laughs> are you winning champs this year? Listen, I'm so afraid of that question. Because we, the disappointments, I tell you all the time, people say KC boys, we are bold and we show off and we're not boasting because we, we hurt a lot because we're always prominent to win and we don't always win. So now, I, I know the pain. Every year a champs come in second. Sir, so sir. I don't want to <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is why, this is why, he, this is why, this is why <laughs> he accuses me of not letting him speak. <laughs> I, I asked him a question and he's wrapped. At a point of order. Will win champs? Well, knowing me, I mean, Fortis Calabas still are in one protest. Yes, we're going to win. Thank you very much. <laughs> we, we take a break. We come back with more of the Sportsman Zone. You, you're insufferable.